got so many stuff here now. It's just, well, I'll have to eat it all. Like, be kind because I have to eat it all. Not gonna share. Hopefully, don't need to share. I just bit into paper. Very good. Very good. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Little Good Things. So it's another beautiful day and another day closer to Christmas. I'm super excited about this video because we're going to be talking about my most favorite topic, which is presents. You probably can tell that I'm super excited about Christmas and I absolutely love this is such a nice time and giving presents to other people makes me really happy. Also, I do like receiving presents, which makes me more happy, happier. So as Christmas is coming soon, like a snowball, and for those of you who have bought your presents already, well done. If not, then don't worry because I have got you covered. As you guessed from the title of this video, today I'm going to be talking about last minute Christmas presents and I wanted to make it simple, but also they're gonna be nice and thoughtful. So I'm sure that you're excited about this because I am and yeah, let's get into it. This first gift idea is super simple and sweet. It's chocolate lovers gift box. I included five items, but you can include more if you feel like it and depending on what your special someone likes. So let's have a look into my gift box. So in this gift box, we've got Ferrero Rocher, which is my absolute favorite of all time. Uh, we've got some milk selection, that's milk chocolate. Then we have a Ritter Sport Alpine milk chocolate and this one's super nice. And then we have got some beanies, nutty hazelnut coffee and oh my god guys, this is absolutely amazing. And this is what you can pick up in Lidl but I'm not sure if Aldi has got them too. And what you have got inside is three flavors. So we have got mint chocolate. It's only 35 calories, look at that. So we've got mint chocolate, we have got hazelnut, and we also have got salted caramel. And all of these are really, really nice. So I'll definitely recommend beanies coffee and I will include it because what can be better than coffee and chocolate and then a really nice socks again and um, I think that's a nice addition to this treat box if your girlfriend or whoever you're planning to give this present to likes being cozy you will definitely like my next gift idea and this is a soft fluffy blanket it's really simple but works a charm i have got this soft fluffy blanket of my own which was a present from my friend for christmas and i absolutely love it because it saved me from so many cold winter evenings so yeah it's a really nice gift if you put some chocolate on top or some fluffy socks i think it would definitely be a perfect little gift idea because Christmas for me is everything cozy and warm, I'm sure you will love this next gift idea. This is a cozy evening kit. And I think this is something that we all need from time to time. Just wrap yourself up in a nice blanket, get some cocoa, marshmallows, maybe a nice book and just enjoy yourself. So this is why I've created this cozy evening kit. And yeah, let's get into it. Let's have a look. Oh, sorry. So this is my cozy evening gift set. Love Iris is a book that I really enjoyed reading. And what can be better than reading it with some cocoa and some marshmallows? I obviously wrapped it up so that they don't kind of fall out then you can replace the book with something else you can add um, hair ties scrunchies to make it just a nice addition if i received it myself i would be super happy because it looks super cute and i'm sure that that special someone you're giving it to will also love it 
And if cocoa and marshmallows don't work for your special someone, I have got a better idea that no woman in existence would say no to. And this is a Pamper Night gift box. I do like a really good gift box. So many things to show you in this Pamper box. So here we have got a really nice face mask from Simple. And I love this company because they don't use some of the unnatural ingredients that other companies use. And this is really, really nice. I have got a scented candle and this is wild jasmine. I was planning to use it when I'm taking a bath and I've got some things for a bath as well. Then I have got some bath salts. This is super cute as well. This is something that I would definitely use when taking a bath. I do like bath bombs but bath salts are also really nice so it kind of gives that smooth nice feeling to the skin after Afterwards. When your special someone had a bath and a face mask, um, she can use it, a really really nice cotton face cloth. Then we have got scrunchies. These are really cute and again I picked them up from Tesco's. So it just, it's not very expensive or anything, but they're super cute. So I'm sure that your special someone would absolutely love it. So this is a natural faith in nature dragon fruit body wash, which is absolutely amazing. It smells super nice. Oh my God. So it smells very sweet, but it's, nice kind of sweet. It smells like some sort of candy. It's a mixture of berries and passion fruit, I would say. Definitely give this one a try. When your lady has had a bath and a face mask and everything, she can wipe it with some simple face wipes. And this is an absolute must for every woman. Then after a bath, it's really nice to have some uh, body butter and we've got avocado and green tea as well as oatmeal and shea. I'm not sure if I pronounced shea, she, is that she or shea, she? I'm not sure how that's pronouncing but anyway. Finally, we have got a foot moisturizing socks. It's really nice to have a bath and then kind of have some sort of product to refresh in your feet so i would definitely recommend it if somebody gave it to me i would be absolutely over the moon and if you want you can also add a bit of a card sorry it was a bit of a long one but it's just that i think it's probably the best of them all this next gift idea is going to be perfect for cheese lovers and it's a cheese lover gift box well it's another gift box what can i say so i think it's going to be different for everyone because people like different kinds of cheeses so i thought i'm going to just include what i would choose and it would be some sort of brie and then blue stilton some maybe mature cheddar and then maybe uh, some cheese with cranberries or different type of fruit or berries inside and if you add some crackers or crisp bread nuts some chutney i think it could be a definitely a really nice gift idea for that special someone i guess it wouldn't be really good for putting that under the tree but definitely if you're uh, just giving it to someone um, on the Christmas day and you just prepped it in a day in advance, then it should be okay. Otherwise, you might need to warn that person who you're giving it to that it contains food and yeah, that it needs to be kind of opened fairly quickly. I have a vegan friend. I was trying really hard to find a perfect gift for her and I don't know, I, I just had a lot of ideas but none of them were kind of good enough so i thought a vegan treat box would be the best of them i guess so if you have got a vegan friend that could be one of the options that's really simple but sweet and thoughtful and nice so um this is what i've got 
and we have got only a few things here but I think it's really nice so first thing we have got some high fiber brownies and you can pick them up from Tesco's if you live in the UK then we've got deliciously Ella two products from her brand we've got nut butter balls and also double chocolate caramel cups and then we've got some dark chocolate and I think if you want to add something else you can do and for example the pamper gift line box i have got uh, face masks from there so you can pick that up from there this face mask is vegan friendly so basically you can add that and just make it a nice addition like that alternatively you can add some nice socks to it you can also add some scrunchies and this would look really cute as well so i thought it was a good idea so let me know in the comments if you have got any better ideas or what to give to a vegan friend uh, because i struggled at first and i'm quite glad that i came to this idea so this next idea is something that i absolutely love and this was a present for myself too and well what can i say it's big it's fluffy and it's soft and it keeps you warm wherever you go you might not want to go outside with it but at home for sure what i'm talking about is the udi yes and i know i told you that the gifts that i'm going to share with you is going to be something that you can pick up from any shop i hope that i told you that I'm not sure now but this is something that you can't really pick up from any shop uh, and I think that delivery times are quite long now but if you have a chance to pick the Uri up from their website I would definitely recommend it uh, this is an absolutely amazing oversized hoodie blanket. I did a video review on the Uri, so if you want you can check that out. I'll try to include a link somewhere uh, on top of this video and yeah so i think this is something that you can give to if it's your girlfriend a friend your sister your mom um, even for any family member it would be a perfect gift super warm super big and keeps you warm in the cold winter evenings so i absolutely love it and i'm sure that special someone you wouldn't be giving it to will love it too Another gift idea I have got for you is for book lovers and if that special someone you're giving it to loves reading I think this is something that is quite thoughtful and especially if you know what sort of books um, she likes so you can make it uh, like a stack of several books and if you put a nice bow on it um, you can also kind of add some chocolate on top I would add chocolate everywhere if I were you because if you're giving this present to a girl, I'm sure that she will love chocolate. So try to include chocolate everywhere and you won't be mistaken. So yeah, for example, I will try to do that now. It kind of fits. So if the, your friend or girlfriend, whoever you're giving this to, is vegan and also likes reading, here we go. <laughs> We've got a really nice present. The final gift idea I have got for you is something also very simple and this is a gift voucher. I know it's quite boring to give someone a gift voucher but if maybe you don't know that person very well or if you can't think of anything better, if she has got everything she might ever need or want, then it's quite difficult to decide for that person what she would like. How I would do it is probably I'll get it into a nice box maybe again and if you've got some bits and pieces in your box um, just add your gift voucher and a nice card and make it that way. If you have a better idea of how to give a gift voucher to someone then please let me know in the comments. I would love to know what you think and what you've tried before. You can definitely make it really nice, but simple, but thoughtful and something that she can then buy for herself that she really likes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. 
to my channel i would really appreciate it tell me in the comments below which gift idea was your favorite and which one was least favorite also if you have got any better ideas or what you have tried for example for a vegan treat box just let me know it would be really interesting to hear what you've done before as well and what sort of gifts you've given to people i really enjoyed doing this video and i hope you enjoyed it too I'll upload next video next Sunday, so I'll see you then. Okay, are you ready? I'm gonna have so much cleaning up to do after this. Three, two, one. Oh, so much cleaning up. That was fun.